In tonight's Project Safe Schools, dead bugs to mouse droppings. We found the biggest health code violations in school cafeterias where your children eat every day. Our Megan Allison went to work to find the factors impacting your child's health at school and what inspectors are doing to try to solve the problem. Um, we might check the walk-in coolers, um, which would be back here. Every school in Tulsa County is inspected twice a year. Since last summer, all of them passed. But for a few, it requires many changes to get to that point. Just making sure employees are knowledgeable about um, how they're doing their dishes, making sure they're washing their hands, food temperatures. Um, you know, those can, those can happen anywhere, not just schools. We did find multiple schools with repeat violations. At Bixby High School, health inspectors listed five and issued a warning in September after finding an expired state food license, several dead roaches on the ground, and a live roach in a cabinet. The health inspector says many violations are related to funding, like when food isn't properly cooled or heated. Dealing with maybe older equipment, um, so they might not have the funds to reorder new equipment that, that might um, cause some, some temperature issues or, or something along those lines. At Tulsa Public Schools, the health department gave several glowing reviews across the district. <laughs> Yet at three schools in October, inspectors found mouse droppings at Bell Elementary, Mayo Demonstration School, and McLean High School, citing inadequate pest control with droppings by dry goods and snack shelving. The health department works with schools on site to solve problems and issue warnings and follow-up visits when needed. They say in general, cafeterias are cleaner than your average restaurant or bar. That provides a food safety challenge because you know, you're looking at limited space for refrigeration and hot holding equipment. Um, you know, so if you're making large quantities of items and you need to cool that down or, or keep it hot, that might be hard if you, if you don't have the space to do it. For TPS, many of the schools serve up to 90% of students, which is why the district makes food safety one of its biggest priorities. A lot of these families that live in food deserts don't have access to adequate food at home, um, so it's really important and that's why at all our elementaries the kids have the opportunity to meal at no cost to them. Across the county, there is a range of violations already this year. Union's Anderson Elementary was cited for a green slimish buildup on the ground, and Liberty Public School had staff working without a food handler's permit. Of the close to 150 reports we reviewed, the majority are positive, and the negatives usually corrected the same day. Food safety is always at the forefront of my mind, and you know I, we're out here trying to protect the public, and the public includes me and you and my children and everybody else. Reporting in Tulsa, Megan Allison, Two Works for You.